Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here back with another Halloween update compact automation tutorial. Now, with the introduction, I'm a ghost by the way. <laughs> with the introduction of the new heated mixer that goes from, well the mixer isn't new, but the actions, it used to be a 0.2 speed cooking, now it's a 0.4, twice as fast and they don't burn. They don't burn, which means you can use heated mixers for your onion rings and for your fries or your chips, your French fries, your, your UK chips. I call them UK chips because over here, where's where we call them fries, but you know what I'm talking about. You can use the, the conveyor mixer because it does the chopping action and then it does the cooking action. Now, the only thing with that is it's still slower than a safety hop. A safety hop is 0.75 speed. So if you are going through a lot of sides, this method might not be feasible for you guys, but it's still very feasible in a normal run because not everybody's ordering sides, not everybody's ordering onion rings and chips. Now again, you could interchange these. This is just showing how both of those could go together. If you wanna do just a one, it's very, very simple, um, you know, as far as laying it out, but I'm gonna combine both of them together because typically if you have chips, you have onion rings as well. Anyway, let's start off with our potato bag. And here you only really use, you, you only use one corner grabber. For this setup and you, and you but you do need one smart grabber and that'll become very it'll become apparent very soon why you need it and i'm going to show you exactly I'll, I'll explain why you need it so in here and again the prep stations are always optional but recommended just because of how easy they are to obtain uh even like frozen preps are, are optional but but regular ones i'd say you know you definitely want to try to have all right, so we got that set up, and then we're gonna have the combiner, which is gonna have the flour. And like I said, this isn't that much different than your normal setup, except you're not having a mixer and then a safety hub. So it's significantly more compact. And we have our onion bin here as well, and this is gonna be a regular grabber, because these are all regular grabbers. And then you put in your mixer here, your heated mixer, and then you have your smart grabber. Now, the smart grabber is very important. And I'm gonna show you, if we don't have a smart grabber, I'm gonna show you what happens. Let me just grab one of my other grabbers up here now we're going to let this run i'm going to show you what happens if we don't have a smart grabber here and i think you'll understand exactly what i mean so let's go into practice mode which is awesome you hit the escape button on the keyboard or whatever your your menu button is on your controller and you can go to practice mode you don't have to go outside anymore your player stays where they were you don't have to keep moving them around it's so 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 handy now let's just watch this work pay attention to the onions up here this mixes and as soon as it's done the grabber grabs it the flour won't combine on this because a grabber will grab as soon as this action is completed. Because it's, com it's doing a combining action plus a cooking action, it won't work until, just, just, just keep your eye on it, what happens. Now it will work because this is backed up. If it's not backed up, it won't work. The fries down here, they're doing their thing. This is kind of a, we're not even looking at it. So this is why you need to have one smart grabber. You may say, well, you could probably do it with it. Yeah, you could, but this is this is all about compact designs. So get rid of this, put in a smart grabber that is set to finished onion, cooked onion rings, nothing else. Now let's watch what happens. The fries at the bottom get chopped. I'm gonna let this run until everything backs up and they get cooked. So again, it's 0.4 speed, so it's not bad. Actually, you know, it's, it's, it cooks roughly the same speed because it chops the onion and the potato roughly at the same, well, pretty much exactly the same speed. Combining is instant, and there you go. And I'm gonna let this run just to show you what happens when these things back up. They should both back up roughly at the same time because there's um, five slots. There's four for the prep and then one for the conveyor, or I call them conveyors, the grabber afterwards. But just keep your eye on it. It's gonna start backing up very soon. And normally a heated mixer, what does it do? It burns. Well. Just wait till these two finish their cycle. I'll show you exactly what happens. And this is why heated mixers now are so much more valuable. Here, just watch what happens. These are both gonna cook at the same time. Speed's irrelevant. Boom, what happens? Nothing happens, it sits there. So this is a huge bonus for something like this or doing your, um, even doing, well, broccoli and potato, well, for potatoes, for mashed potatoes, you could, I mean, it's a very, like, it's very, very slow to cook mashed potatoes on a heated mixer. It's twice as fast as it was, but again, as an extra source, heated mixers are still only 60 coins. They don't cost any more than a regular mixer. And introduction, in the introduction now with the way the mixers cycle, they cycle in order. So your first upgrade will be random. It'll either be a heated, a conveyor, or a rapid. And then they cycle in order. I believe the order is heated, conveyor, rapid, and then back to heated. So if you're researching, you do your research over here, right? And you get 
the mixture that you don't want, you can research the next day and the next day, and they'll cycle through just how the how the blueprint discount and copy desk, the CBD, how they work. The mixers do the same thing now. So if you're like, oh, I got a rapid mixture, I don't want a rapid mixture because I want to have a secondary one to do mashed potatoes or they want to do chips. And even if you don't have this this level of automation here, you don't have to have these here at all. You could just have this set up for your onion rings or just have basically for your chips. You need three squares. You need your, your potatoes, you need a grabber, and you need heat. And that's all you need to really automate to automate chips. Uh, onion rings are a bit different, more com more complex because you have to have the flour added. But again, in in a five by three square. And if this would be by itself, you could you could cram this in a one by five square or a two by three square, which would be less efficient. You could have your stuff automated. It really cuts down on you because normally you'd have to have a safety hob after both of the mixers and then have another grabber. So you're saving two squares easily for each one. So that, that's a huge savings in my opinion. Uh, could you compact this any more? I don't think so. Like you could put this here and put a corner grabber here but you're not compacting it anymore um because then you're going to be left with a four by five and that's 20 versus a five by three which is only 15 if you're counting how many actual tiles it takes up here but there you go my old video that i've had of how to automate chips and onion rings still is very valid today but with the introduction of the heated mixer change where it chops or excuse me it cooks twice as fast from 0.2 to 0.4 speed and it also doesn't burn the biggest part is it doesn't burn because you can use this exclusively for doing your sides like this um you could even use it for baking pie like to do, if you want to par bake your pie crust you could have a heated mixer doing both actions and you know i bet you if you have two heated mixers will be faster than a mixer plus a um or plus you know two mixers plus two to safety hobs, this is likely still going to be fat. Ah, it'll be very difficult, but again, it's time time save. I'm trying to think what will be faster, but time savings here and not time space savings. This is all about compact space savings, and you can't find a, a more compact setup than this a five by three to automate onion rings and to automate chips together or separately. There you go. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm having such a good time making these new updated tutorials with the, with the new Halloween update, which uh, by the time you're watching this, the update's already live over on Steam. So make sure you go over there and pick up the game. If you enjoyed my content, feel free to leave me a subscribe. That'd be much appreciated. You can always catch me on Twitch Monday and Wednesday evenings at nine o'clock Eastern for more played up action. And as well, if you enjoyed this content here, please consider leaving me a like and a comment. I always respond to all my commenters either with a like thumbs up a heart or a personalized comment back i always love interacting with people if there's some sort of automation that i haven't covered in this tutorial series all this stuff will be under my new halloween um played up tutorial playlist so be able to check that play playlist out if there's something that you don't see on there that you are wondering whether it's coming out or not feel free to leave it in the comment below and i'll answer you typically within a day sometimes even within an hour i'll get back to you guys so anyway thank you so much for joining me once again stay tuned for much more fun automation. Take care now.